Hello everybody and welcome back to the guild 3. Now Valken here is yeah doing a grave digger's job right now with his sexy employees there. I mean she is still young, right? <laughs> 17 she is. Mm, not might be a suitable wife. Why not? I mean she is the right age. She just doesn't look like my type though. But still, that is about the one. right notion though, finding a wife. We should be doing that soon. Well, because Falcon is still alone, and of course, we don't want to be a grave digger forever, but we want to have a big dynasty um, in our back there as well that we want to, to, to create. Now, in order to achieve that, we do have a few things to do. First of all, yeah, going to the graveyard once again to dig up the bones might be a good choice. But while he's doing that, we do have a bit of money at hand right now. We make money with the minstrel tent now as well, so we have two um, businesses running. And this one here, as we can see, my minstrels are or my bards are running around playing some music. We could also now add the um, playing, so playing a concert, presenting a concert um, to the loop there. So they're going to play then on this stage here and people that come pass by, well, they might just pay us a bit of a sum there if that's the case. Well, those guys here are still a bit busy though. And also while that is happening, we can advance now finally. I do need to. Um, the Yeoman title would be available now. We have the money, um, 1450 coin it costs. We are then, well, a Yeoman and generally own their own plot of land and pay taxes to the Lords of the Manor. They're not bound to carry out forced labor anymore. Uh, we get another business limit, this is important, so we can build up another house. And we can also throw stones then. Now is that isn't a nice one. Let's go with that. And thus we are our yeoman. And with that we have unlocked now the Grave Digger 2. The disreputable and frightening business of taking care of the remains of humans in the cemetery. And this opens up the skull lamps and plundering the graves. And then we have this one unlocked as well. There's still another thing that I want to do and that is my influence tree. So we have not only the four professions, we also have the social skills. And the social skills as we can see, our first one here is the ambitious. So the free cities allow people to throw off the shackles that force so many of them into the old status quo, thus preventing them from developing their intellect to achieve prosperity and influence. Your ambition to the higher is awakened to the annoyance of the nobility and the clergy. And we get a 10% reputation bonus. Now if that isn't nice, let's take this one for the 50 influence. 50 influence sounds like a lot because it's almost half of what we have. But um, we can build up influence the more money we have later anyway. Oh, and as you can see, my bards are also playing now on the stage here. A nice little concert. And there are actually a few people watching us hopefully paying some nice sum there as well. While others are <laughs> fighting there in front of us. That looks funny. What happened there? Selena, she's a robber. She was probably caught robbing. So that's why she's got beaten down by a guard. How it looked to me. Well, we might just use her bones now, right? But she's not quite dead yet. Half dead, I would say. Not fully freshly dead yet. Her bones are still full of blood. Yeah, and there she's running off before anyone thinks about something like that. Going to the cemetery, who knows? Alright, so we are the yeoman and we can now go for the higher good and that is the skull lamp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the bracelets and I'm going to say, wait a second, I'm going to say... What am I going to say actually? I want this one here to be number one priority. Right, this one should be it and I want this one though on the number one here. Now, I also want to look at what's happening with the skull lamp. Now, with the skull lamp, we do need bones, bone dust, and fish oil. Now, that is something we don't have here. So, first of all, the bone glue, that is something I don't need anymore. Let's get rid of that. Um, I also get rid of the bracelets. I already got rid of them, but they're here again for some reason. And, of course, this is our priority. But before we can do that, we do need the fish oil. So, I need to have a new storage rule. As you can see, relevant goods that we have the fish oil now procure that one and procure, let's say, 20 maximum. Otherwise, she would just purchase a lot, as much as she can, and thus deplete my um, bank account there to zero, if that's the case, right? So we are not doing this. Um, we say 20, bring 20 with you one turn, that's enough. And if there's more than 20 in store, then just purchase 
nothing of it, or if there is 15 in store, purchase only 5 and never really purchase all of it. That is what we decide here. Um, this is fine then, and bone bracelets and skull lamp we're selling, right? So that's what she's doing now once she is going back to the market. Um, and our goal here is now this one. This production is blocked, however, because it's missing the fish oil. So right now, no one can purchase anything. But look at that, she already got the fish oil now in store. Or, well, there she is. Oh, and the snow is also coming in. Oh, wait a second, where are you running with the fish oil? Oh, she's not got 20 of it, so I think she's going to the next market to purchase the other three. Stop with that for now. For the initial um, setup, uh, we don't need to wait that long now. Well, we don't want to wait that long. So we are basically just going with her now back there. I can always do that manually. And it's getting really cold here now, as we can see. There, and let's unload it. Right? so that my people can work. Now you can continue once again selling stuff. And as we can see, uh, the other ones are already resting now, are they? No, there they're starting. Now they're starting with it. The skull lamp is being produced. And this is worth a lot, 240. We can't forget though, yeah, fish oil costs 70 when we purchase it, so that we already take have to take away. So it's not that lucrative anymore, as we can see here, but it's still around 160, 170 each time we make it, because the bones we can still, of course, get. Um, yeah, but it's still twice as, as, as worthy, twice as valuable as the, the bone bracelet. So there's still a profit here with this increased production that we have. Alrighty. Let's just, out of curiosity, where is she going? Ready. My transporter. She's going back to Paris, I think. Yeah. In the snowstorm. That is coming up here now. Alright, um, with the fish oil, of course. Yep, that's the, the business here. We have to invest even more for initial fish um, oil storage. We just lost another thousand um, coin there, I think it was, to get this one up. How's it looking here? Now, they were working for over 24 hours now, this business there. How profitable would it be? So there we have our grave or yeah, our graveyard. That is 5,000 in revenue. Um, but let's put it to one year. Let's just say the year 4-2. How much did it make me? Uh, 4,000 in that case. That was the revenue. These were the expenses. So the total is 1,000, yeah, 2,000 almost. We got from the crypt. This one is not so profitable yet. Right, we still have had some expenses, but what we can see already is that the employees cost 600 and it makes about 900 each year. So in, oh, other? I don't know what other is though on the revenue here. Still, 400 it is, but it's by far not as profitable as the crypt. Perhaps that changes. Perhaps it changes when we optimize it a bit more. With the minstrels, what we can do, for example, is we can get a fourth worker. We don't have that yet. Um, do we have something else down here? Customer satisfaction, productivity, those things we don't have here, we don't need. Um, but perhaps getting another minstrel up might be a good thing. So let's hire a fourth one. So we got four now, and as we can see, two are there doing the concert and two are playing the music. In that case, I don't know if playing a concert is that lucrative though. It's, it doesn't look like it, no idea. With the crypt, what we can still do on add-ons, we can, for example, still increase the productivity of 5%. Let's do this. So we have a productivity of 130% now. Um, and for another 300, we could go up by another 5%. That's a good idea, though, because that definitely profits us in the long term for this crypt. Oh, it's getting really dark and dreary out there now. And cold, probably. Now look at that, one of the robbers is attacking my transporter and she actually lost and we're thus losing the fish oil, whatever he's taking with him there. That is not very nice of him. And now he's juggling. <laughs> now he's juggling, he was just robbing my transporter. Alright, we only have two fish oil left. That was quite an expensive investment there. We need to do something about that. Where is this guy though? Where is his robber camp? We need to look out for his banner there, for his emblem. So this is kind of like a tree or whatever it is. And there must be a robber camp. Perhaps not too far away, no idea. I don't find it. But that is not very good, especially since it's right in front of my crypt.
This though gives me the idea that we might just have our own robbery camp. Might be a good thing, right? We could also have then um, some some thieves and with those guys we could then fight them. So we ha could have our own little army. That is much later. Let's just have a look real quick. The roguery that we have it, robber. Um, and this would go then then here slide of the of the hand. Which gives me the thief craft house and the thieves den. Um, I think there was something else. Mercenary quarters. That's it. Fighting. Mercenaries quarters. So if you choose this skill, then you will embark on a journey down the dangerous and somewhat infamous path of a lance granite. You will learn to fight, protect others and catch criminals. So this is the righteous way. And this is the, raw, uh, the, the thief's way. Right here we have the thief's den, smuggling, um, breaking into houses. And with this one here we have the protection. Kind of like also the extortion way, so we can extort protection money from the people. And since so we do have some robbers, I actually like this one. So let's do this. Let's go for Minstrel 2. That is our first route. For this one here though, for the fighting, we do need the citizen title that we have here, right? So that is still a bit further away. Um, at least we have unlocked the play Serenade now. So let's just have a look. At least I think my minstrels can now do this. Oh, they're doing a lot of that. Let's have them doing what, what is best, because I don't think that the stage play here is the best, really. There's barely anyone. Look at that. They're all here, and no one is watching them. That is not how I imagine these things. They, they have to get out there and make some money. Yeah, there's a bit of money coming. I think it's, it's just that, but yeah. If I do it with choose the best option, they are going for playing then music somewhere else. They're just finishing the, the stage here. I hope so, because that is not so much money. The crypt makes more money, and we might just, since we have the title, get us another crypt. That is possible. The last resting place. We can build another crypt. How much is it? Let's just have a look at there again. 1,300. Yeah, I would like to wait there a bit more. I guess we need more fish oil. Yep. She is going to the doctor for now because she was robbed and injured. So of course, oh, she's far away. She is Saint Germain right now, far away in somewhere in Paris or on the other side of Paris, I think. Um, what I will have to do is I will have to get the fish oil myself. Otherwise, we will have a stop here, and we have that right now. And what we miss is fish oil, basically. That's it. Let's just have a look here. Fish. There it is. Now let's just see. Oh, 13 cost a thousand. But well, I have to do this. It's really expensive. Of course. Let's go back to our crypt. And I think we have. Yeah. Six skull lamps. We can put them in the front store. And, you know, people will then just go for that. Let's unload it. So that everybody can continue producing again. Alright, so this one, we are, we are finishing this batch of the, the lamps. And then I will build another crypt. I will probably not build it here though, but in another town. Up here we have Rouen. Here. Um, and there is the cemetery, last resting place. Having a crypt here makes sense. Right? Close to the cemeteries, having those crypts. And it's rather close by, so it makes sense to have it there. Where else would we have one? Mm, there we have another village done. There's the cemetery, the Croaking Raven. That is a really beautiful cemetery though, just where we have the mountains. Um, I could thus go to the city of Rheim, here, or Rem, and makes also sense, we could do that, right? Yeah, I need the money, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can build in that then as well. We can't build in the city yet, but we can build in villages. And just beautiful winter day. And there we made a profit with the lamp again. My transporter is working 2400. That was the day's work in my crypt. And with that, we finally have now a bit of money there. So 4400. Um, so that we can build a next crypt. And that is exactly what a grave digger wants, right? Digging more graves. So that's what we're going to do. And I think... Yeah, I think we're actually doing is here in the Croaking Raven Cemetery. First of all, I love the name. I love the surroundings here, just beside the mountains. And it's rather close to Paris. It's closer to Paris than Rouen. So this makes more sense here. Um, Grave Ticker Crypt Dark Legends. Sounds like a proper one. There is the cemetery. We could have it, our crypt. 
beside the church, right? Here. What is that? A croft? Hmm. I can't build streets myself, unfortunately. That is happening automatically. We can't... We could have it here, just as, uh, beside the mill. That is fine. And there we have it. A new business is coming up. Right? And money-wise, this should hopefully profit us a lot. Since we can use now, we can exploit a new graveyard. Okay, Valkin, why do you stop? Waiting... Oh, it's that fish oil again. Ready. My transport is not doing... Not doing it so quickly. She's not going to Rouen. Selling something here. Another three lamps, but I need the fish oil. Perhaps I will need to purchase more fish oil in the future. Now she's got 14. And what is she doing here? She's in the fishing hut. Oh, in the fishing hut purchasing fishing oil. That is cool. All right, fish oil in the from the fisher. Now for 15, she's going home, but that's still not enough in my opinion. That's, I don't know. You, you, you can't go on with that too much. What we could do is, if we have no fish oil, we could go with a few bracelets, right? So that the work doesn't go down. Either that, or for the storage rule, we say get us mm, get us a bit more fish oil every time you go out. Right? 30. Perhaps that does something. But the worst thing for a business that can happen is that it's idle. And we don't want that. Now, the other thing is, we have finished our grief or our crypt here. And I just want to, yeah, get it going. So this is really uh, our first remote crypt at all. So I'm not going to work there myself as Valken. Um, we're going to say this one is the this one is the best you can do. We do need no. Actually, let's just say the bracelets for now. Oh, I think with the automated production. Yeah. I think we need to go with the, the bone bracelets there. I'm going to turn off the skull lamps for now um, because I want to start making some money first before I invest even more into that. Let's also put the add-on on it, the workers. And yeah, let's go with that as well. And then we're going to hire quite a lot of them. Oh, they look different. Gale Hot, he's called. We'll see about that. Looking a bit different there. And a transporter. And we are spring 1404. And it's the next day again. Everybody is working. Hopefully we don't have that much money right now. Because the investments cost us quite a lot. Um, now we can also access our building list. And there we can see now the Dark Legends. Our new crypt that we have just here. Um, and yes. What is what it's looking like. They're working at the moment. What I can see right away though is with the storage. We have the problem here that they're going for infinite storage once again. Never a good idea. So the maximum really shouldn't be that high. Um, also for the dust, let's just keep it at 40. Um, the bracelets and the skull lamps are the only thing that can go up to infinite, but it's never really going there because we are selling it. Um, for the fish oil as well, we should change this then to... Yeah, let's say 40 on this as well. Though I haven't checked it yet, so the transporter should not go for fish oil at the moment. The transporter is already on the way to the market. Somewhere here, selling it. Very good. The first bracelets as well. So that this script also makes us a bit of money. Right, so we have the Grave Fiends and the Dark Legends now as our two crypts. And also the Minstrels here. Let's just check once again on my budget book. Um... First of all, the minstrels, they made some good profit last day. They made, oh, last day is a year, by the way. Let's just check this one here. It's the year 1403 that we need to choose. For some reasons, it doesn't want me to. Let's just see 1403, please. Oh, from 1402 from to 1403, is that right? This is right. And this is yesterday then, basically. And they made me 1,600 there. And the Grey Fiends made me 5,500. Right? So it's still... The crypts are just more profitable than the Minstrels. But still, it's making me some cash there. And we need the Minstrels anyway to go to the protection money. For some reasons. Right? And perhaps we're also getting a bit more money out of them once they level up more often. Um, let's have a look at the other crypt there real quick once again, which is making us some money already. Um, since we have 4,000 at the moment, I might... Oh, we have 4,000. 
We must have sold a lot of lamps at them, right, boy? Um, let's activate the lamps. And for the storage rules, we can now say procure the fish oil, right? Let's have a mixture of it. So we have the bone bracelets and the skull lamps. It's important that both of them are working. And you are now, he's now going, yep, for the fish oil right away. That's a good boy. So they should always produce fish oil. Uh, fish, uh, uh, <laughs> yep, <I laughs> they should the always master. produce the this one here, right? What is the name of it? The skull lamps, not the fish. But the skull lamps, they should always produce that as long as we have fish oil in storage. If there's no fish oil in storage, they just produce the bracelets. This is how the thing now should be going. Here, they're not doing anything though, right? Waiting for work. Fish oil is coming in, but it's still also in the Oh, because I don't have the ah uh, the bone glue here. They're well not working now. Now they're working again. Alright, this is something to understand. Right? Because of course the bone bracelets are made of these three parts. So these three parts need to be available. Um, bone glue was not available at the moment. So they're not now they're producing that, as we can see. Um, and once we have some fish oil in here, and we should see that, there is the fish oil. They should be switching then to the lamp. Let them just finish it. Alright, you also Valken leveled up once again, so we might just give him yet another charisma point. Um, very good. Um, he's 22 by the way now. We have a bit of cash, so yeah, it is about time to find a girlfriend soon. And with that, let's just have a look as well, since we have that much money. I might be inclined to go for my next tier, the resident. Um, the resident resides near a city and cultivate the lands owned by the city for the ruling class. This one gives us a storage barn. We could have, oh, we have them public relations as uh, something new. Mm, and we can bribe officials. Let's go with it. And there we are, a resident of Paris, of Paris surroundings, that is. So this is already the last title. Citizens is our next one and as we can see uh, citizen costs us 500 influence So we need to get this one up and by the way What I can see as well is that if we want to go for another profession entirely We also need 500 influence for that starting um, of it right um, for now It's the money only we could have another crip now up and running if we want because we have another business limit um, or well, we just figure out a way how to get this influence um, and that is with our certain actions. For example, the church donation. 200 for 38 influence. We can pay this one here, the church Saint Joseph. We're going there, paying the 200 coin. And we got some 42 influence out of it. I think there's a cooldown on it, yep, um, where we can't do that anymore. We could also put a go for 5,000 coin and we would get 800 influence out of it. That sounds more reasonable. Summer 1405. Um, so I'm inclined to go with another crypt, a third one for the last Midnight. cemetery that we have there. Um, and then I have enough money to go with my influence, right? But don't don't worry about that. We're not making too much cash. The Archduke here cost me over a million, for example. Already the patricians cost 11,000 per title. Um, here 26,000 per title so the money is really going up <laughs> quite a lot and quite steeply there as well so we need to make a lot of cash let's go back to the grave digger crypt um, Valken you can continue here and um, yep the lamps are being produced right now and after that well a new business needs to open a new crypt a new cemetery needs to be robbed and we need to find a wife to build up our dynasty stay tuned <laughs> 